Hey everyone, today's video we're going to be looking at me playing in my T54 Mod 1 on Ensk. And uh, I haven't played World of Tanks uh, recently that long uh, because this is the game that I keep going back to. So, I mean, I've been playing this game for like since 2013, I think, or so. It might be 2014, I'm not sure. But. It's always been the game that I go back to, and recently I've been playing it quite a bit more. Uh, but it's kind of it's it's kind of after a long break, um, so I don't I don't know everything uh, that's you know recently been put in. I mean I know I, I kind of read the updates, but that's about it. Um, you know when I, when I'm not playing the game, all I do is just read the updates. Okay, sweet. You know. I don't always play it. And if I do, it's usually only about two or three battles. But recently with the black market, it's actually brought me back in. I mean, I sold quite a few uh, tanks, tech tree tanks, to get the FV uh, 205B 183. You know, the good old Death Star. Uh, and, I mean, I'd say it's worth it because the way I looked at it was, you know, I can't buy this tank anymore. I'm probably never going to be able to buy it for credits again, and you know, might as well just you know do it because I can buy back all those tanks that I sold from the tech tree. So kind of worth it in my opinion uh, for a tank that I really wanted in the first place because uh, I went down the FV four thousand five line, and I mean that was that was actually not a bad grind. Uh, it could have been worse. I mean it's it's better than going down the AT line. Um, yeah, that that's not very fun. Oh, hello, Mr. Scorpion G. Hi. Yeah, I'm surprised he didn't shoot me. I mean, recently, uh, I've been getting into games and people are a little bit more toxic than I last remembered. But hey, you know, online gaming communities, so they're, they're always good. Uh, but no. So we're just in our T54 Mod 1, and I actually recently picked this tank up. Uh, I was going to buy a T54 uh, T44 100, but... I was like, eh. it was, it was a, it was another like ten pound more, and I couldn't really justify spending that much more on a tank that isn't really that much different. I mean, sure, it has better mobility and slightly better fire rate, uh, but it has the same gun, and you lose armor. So uh, I don't really know. Uh, but. The difference was like ten pound more, and it was like thirty eight pound if I wanted the T forty four one hundred. So I was, it, it was quite a big uh, step up for me at least. Uh, so T fifty four mod one, here it is. It's going well. And at this point, I was kind of like, well, we've lost. Um, I mean, looking back at it, it doesn't look too bad because they are flanking, but like they could easily just annihilate us. It's only me and this GW Panther that's here. Like, all they have to do is just push us, just destroy us, it's over at that point, and they can start the cap. And then you've got, to, they, all they've got to face off is a T-34-100. It's not that bad. Um, and that's it. But, you know, take out this T-28 prototype, wait for um, these other three, Nice shot into T44-100. I see the IS coming, and I know there's also the T28 HDC. Also, this shot, no idea where that went. Literally none. Uh, some say it's still going. Who knows where that went, where that ended up? Uh, but no. Second one, into the T44-100. IS doesn't shoot me for some reason. Maybe he's reloading, although I don't know why. He hasn't shot. Misses there. It's okay for me. And at this point, all we have left is a Carnarvon, T44-100, and an AMX-1375 that's down there facing off against four enemy tanks, which is not the best odds for him. I mean, one of them is an SPG, so... Ugh. You know. Uh, take out the IS. And I knew that I could take a shot there. I expected to actually take damage from the uh, T28. But we didn't, so good result for us, I guess. And now it is us three versus them four. I mean, basically a 3v3, but they still have Artie, so... 
Uh, this is the one kind of really bad play I made that I feel. Uh, I shouldn't have just gone out side on. Um, but, you know, we can overmatch the side arm on the Carnarvon because he's not angled it uh, correctly. I mean, he doesn't really have a choice. He is tracked. But, you know, once we get into the side screen position, the, this is what I mean by the armor of the T44 Mod 1. The T54 Mod 1. I'm going to mess that up quite a few times, probably. Eh, who cares? Um, but, yeah. It's it's a lot better armoured than the T44-100. Uh, and... Oh, a lot of poo shot out when I came around that corner. I remember... I was like, oh, he's probably facing the other way. And I came around the corner, he's just facing me. I was like, okay, that's that's not that's not the best. Uh, but no. So, we haven't actually shot any premium rounds. Which... Good, good job. I mean, it is against tier 8s and tier 6s, so shouldn't need to shoot them anyway. Uh, but yeah, so now I realise that the 1357 on the other team, the last remaining tank, is going round and trying to flank us and make his way back to his base. Um, now, he, no one's obviously started the cap yet, but he he's a good player. He knows, uh, I think I had XVM on at this time, and, you know, he was super unicum. I was like, oh, God, here we go. But he could have easily taken us out uh, if we if I didn't do this because all he had to do was he can outspot us and we wouldn't be able to see him. Uh, but you know, luckily I spot him. Shot went somewhere. Who knows? You know, probably another shot that's still going. Uh, but he could have easily taken me out. Uh, I don't know what a pen is on that tank, but it's you know. He could, have, he could have probably taken us out. We don't have a lot of health left, and that shoots very fast, that gun. So although it is only a first-class mastery badge, um, it wasn't more about you know the insane damage that I'd done or anything like that. It was more to the fact that you know the odds can look very bad against you, but you can still come out with a win no matter what. And you know, as we can see, team score here, the Carnarvon and I had done some insane damage together. Um, even though I did track him earlier on in the video, but we just ignore that fact. Um, but, you know, we work, we work together, you know, we both done our part for the team. And, you know, as long as you kind of can fall back and reposition with your team, then, you know, you can actually get some good teamwork going, good synergy with uh, other people. Um, you know, whether or not they actually want to do it is another option. But, you know, it's World of Tanks, welcome to World of Tanks. Uh, we did make a good bit of profit out of it. Uh, we had to resupply our um, our food um, or chocolate, whatever it is, from the Russian ones. Uh, but yeah, so overall, great game. And uh, yeah, hopefully I'll see you in the next one.